Hi there and welcome to The Telly Show. On this week's show, I'm going to be chatting to First Dates Ireland, Matteo and Pete about working in Ireland's favourite matchmaking restaurant. The new series of First Dates Ireland is currently airing on Thursday nights on RTE2 and once again is proving a hit with viewers. Matteo and Pete will be revealing what it's like to work on the show and answer all those burning questions you might have about First Dates Ireland. Before that though, here are my TV picks for the week. First up is Night Flyers, which has just arrived on Netflix and comes from the mind of Game of Thrones author George R. R. Martin, although it's a very different kettle of fish from that. Night Flyers is a sci-fi series which follows a group of scientists on an expedition in space to make contact with alien life. However, things quickly start to go very wrong on board their ship. There's also a really big Irish connection to Night Flyers. It was made in Limerick's Troy Studios, while it also stars Irish actors Brian F. O'Byrne and Owen Macken. My second TV pick is Red Rock, which returns for its final ever season this Monday on Virgin Media One. The show was put in hiatus back in 2017 when the lease on the current set was up, leading to the ultimate axing of the series. It does promise to go out with a bang though and be the most dramatic and explosive season yet, with the superintendent spiralling out of control and Keith Kiley being pulled further into the underbelly of crime. My guests this week are First States Ireland's Matteo and Pete. Matteo is of course the restaurant's maitre d' and Pete is the waiter on the show. They chatted to me about what it's really like to work on First States Ireland, revealing everything from how they deal with no-shows to managing unrealistic expectations and how they always know the genuine daters looking for love from the not so genuine. Matteo, Pete, thank you so much for joining me on the show. Very welcome. Um, First States Ireland, I have so many questions for you. So, so many questions. And so many people I know have so many questions for you. So, but I won't keep you here all day. Mm. Um, I kind of want to know, first off, what's the best thing about working on a show like this that is, I guess, so loved by so many people in Ireland? It's, it's the experience. It's the atmosphere. I love going in there. Uh, you get so many different people in there. Mm. Um, you get to meet some crazy people and I mean like really crazy people that you might not necessarily meet let's call them characters 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 Characters. is right Mm. the ultimate Irish name isn't Mm. it yes Yes. character she's a real character yeah Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we have a few of them in um, and it's a great atmosphere when the restaurant's you know pumping away and there's people from all walks of life all mingling together and you can kind of see people hitting it off and having the sparks and stuff well you know what I find the best the best it's after four years now it's the the team who is on, you know, we, we all know each other really, really well now. We we actually meet also after work and so on, you know, so we are mates right. at this stage, you know. And then on top, you, you get to meet so many new people and uh, that you see, you witness that walk of shame. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they walk in, uh, the doors. Uh, Nobody can manage those doors. Uh, yeah, I yeah. feel like if you do get it right. Yeah, it's something. like the best entrance in the world. Yeah. You've done better than 90% of the but people. Then some, but then it can only be downhill. <laughs> yeah, something has to give after that. Absolutely. You know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. And how did you both get involved with the show? Were you approached? Was it auditions? What was the procedure? Oh, we were both approached, no? Uh, yeah, I, um, yeah, I was working in a restaurant at the time. Um, mm. One of the series producers came down, happened to have dinner in the restaurant I was working in yeah. and, and, and liked what I was doing and gave me a card. He's like, I want to put you on the show. And I was like, yeah. All right, fair enough. Oh, yeah. H- Hillary came to your place, no? Uh, it was Robert. R- a Robert, yeah. Roberto, yeah. Roberto was Roberto. in for dinner. Yeah, I, uh, I was approached by, uh, well, the Hillary and uh, Linda and, and Stuart because a dear friend of mine who was slash my boss, slash my roommate also, mm. he used to work back in the days on TV with Coco TV. Wow. And then the, they called him to ask, would he, uh, would he know somebody to recommend? And he recommended me. He didn't, he didn't tell me what it is. He, he said to me, yo, man, uh, you're going to get this phone call and just go with it. <laughs> and I said, okay, <laughs> hopefully the boss is going to call me. I'm going to get a raise. I'm thinking, you know, brilliant, yeah, you know. Yeah. No, next thing, uh, hi, Coco TV calling. Uh, no, 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 I'm not into filming. Forget about this. No, I'm going to embarrass you and myself. Uh, no way, no way. No, no, no don't worry. No, no, don't worry. Don't worry. You can do this. It's uh, what you do every day for a living anyway. Yeah. Just this hidden camera. Yeah, I think that's part of the, the success of it as well. Yeah. Is that, you know, we're, we're not actors. We're not, we're not doing anything out yeah. of the ordinary. We're just doing what we happen to yeah. do naturally yeah. and yeah. what we do. And there's so many apply. I guess it's probably the producers that would do all the matchmaking. Do you guys see any of that side of it or do you get any say in who would be put with each other? Mm, well, uh, we, we, we don't. We don't. The thing is, I, I know the way it works because I went to see them in uh, Coco TV 
few times before the show and it's, it's huge. They have this huge wall with all of the names and you can see brainstorming, okay, this guy likes this and this, try to with this and this. This is five months preparation before it goes on air. Mm -hmm. And then and then you get a uh, day before, I uh, know my auntie died. It's incredible. It's incredible how many aunties and dogs die on really? that day. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Ten yeah. minutes before you're supposed yeah, yeah. to show up. Oh, yeah, oh, no, yeah, yeah. Somebody, died. somebody died. died. That, was, that was a question I had yeah. for you. Do you get many people just backing out last minute? Oh, absolutely. Oh, Man. Oh, the people, like, there's a lot of preparation that goes into matching those people. <clears throat> yeah. And I think it becomes very apparent when we're in the restaurant within the first five, ten minutes, or even less than that. When you first see them at the bar, you go, this is going to be a great match. And you can mm. see someone's really spent their time. It's not a case of they're just like, he likes brunettes and she's a brunette. Let's just put yeah. them together and send yeah, them off. It's a lot yeah. of work that goes in behind the scenes. Well, listen, they do plenty of work, but then it's up to them also to work it out. You know, it's we were, pro we were proven wrong so many times. Mm. You know, you think it's going to work just because it's on the, this eyes, like, oh, oh, they're kissing each other with the eyes. You know? yeah, yeah. And then after, no. What you mean, no? What you mean, no? <laughs> I invested my half an hour looking at this thing, and now you're saying no? Yeah. We get plenty of that. Yeah. But yeah. yet again, in the other way around, like the other, what we had a week ago, we had uh, your man from Tralee, the, the yeah, funny yeah, guy, yeah, yeah, funny yeah. guy. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, yeah, well, she, yeah. Did, she didn't give him no signals. No signals throughout the night. And then, yeah, I wanted to go out with you. Yeah. The uh, and, your man, and your man was great. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> How would react the same? Like, she was the whole time that face. Yeah, she yeah. did not seem into him at Zero. all. Yeah. Zero. Zero. Yeah. Uh, I liked the guy. He was funny. Over the course of the four uh, years of doing the show then, what has been your favourite characters? Or has there been anyone that's really stood out that even as a team you guys still talk about? There's always somebody every season. I, think, I feel like it's unfair to just... You see, I like, I like the older yeah, yeah. I like the older couples. They yeah. always they always stick to me, you know, because they really are for the genuine cause there. We're talking about, okay, let's say 60 plus. Mm. When they walk in, it's, I'll do everything for you to make it work, you know? Because they're not there for exposure, they're not there for, for a joke, they're there for a reason, and that's to find somebody. Mm. And if they do, that would be brilliant for them, you know? It's, it's that companionship they're looking for. And when you're that age, you need a bit of help, you know? We're not all the same, we don't have all that approach of, that, that some of us hold the burden of being shy, you get me? Mm. And in these years, you know, you're a little bit vulnerable and that, so it's hard to express yourself, I guess, you know? Yeah. For yeah. certain personalities, you know? Yeah. yeah. Overall, do you find that's the motive that people want to genuinely find love? Is there, or is there a bit of fame hunger happening? I would say it's... It seems 80, genuine. 80, 20, I would 80, say. 20. Yeah, 80-20 yeah. yeah. would be, yeah. I would yeah. agree with us. Yeah. Yeah, 80% of the yeah. people that come through the door are just genuinely, yeah. I've been single for 10 years, don't know what's wrong with me, I need to, I need to yeah, find someone, yeah. I want somebody. Is there anyone that you know is just trying to get camera time or that they're just Yeah, court, yeah, yeah, I knew a few of them, it yeah. Becomes, it get becomes me very get obvious. me in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll get you in. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and suddenly mm -hmm. everything becomes dramatized and everything becomes like a yeah. huge... Oh, I huge. dropped my fork. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, kind of talking to other guests and stuff like that anyway. It, yeah. becomes, it beces very obvious from, I think, from the get-go that when somebody's not there for a genuine reason. Yeah. So yeah. It doesn't happen very often. And in terms of people's expectations, does anyone ever kind of rock up with, I suppose, unrealistic expectations of who they might meet or like... Yeah, the, the one time this lady got pissed off. Why would you imagine with him? Why? Really? Yeah. She was pissed off. What this you is mean? off camera? Yeah. Oh, it's just... oh, <laughs> I don't know why, just whoever comes through the door, we just look help, after. Help. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sometimes people like, I don't know what she expect. I'm going to sort her now, her life with yeah. this situation. It is what it is. You didn't like it in the lighting. Life goes on. Yeah. It's a blind date uh, at the end of the day. Yeah. It's a blind date. You're, you're, you're in the hands of somebody else. Yeah. 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 And my other question for you is, do they really pay for the date? They are paying for the dinner, and rightly so, they should pay for the dinner yes, because yeah. that creates the whole uh, uh, honesty about the show. Mm. You know, this is what it is. What, what, what you see, this is exactly the way it is. But um, yeah, due to the last four seasons of seeing plenty of drama with the payments and that, uh, at this stage, I don't know what to say anymore, who should pay a bill. You know what? My opinion, I'm old fashioned. Yeah. Men should pay a bill. If she's really forcing, nah, I'll pay my bill, I'll pay my... my you can pay a drink after, but let me be a man. If you don't like the fact that I'm going to pay well, deal with it. I'm going to pay for it and that's it.
Yeah. You can leave the tip. No, no, I'll leave the tip because probably she would be a bad tipper. But, <laughs> <laughs> Why would she be a bad tipper? I'm joking. I'm <laughs> not joking. But, you know, in a sense of uh, we guys, my opinion, we should pay that first first dinner, even if you don't go for a second date. Has so, anyone ever been short? Like, have they offered to pay and then it not gone through? Uh, we jumped in once, yeah. Oh, yeah, and God. it was genuine cause. So yeah, we're not yeah. going to name or anything, but it was genuine cause. And that was, you know what? I'll pay for the rest of the dinner if it's needed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it was really, we're not going to point out nobody, no names or nothing, no, but it was one of those situations. I, I don't know if you remember, but uh, I do. Yeah. I, I jumped in. We jumped in as a, as as a, a team. team. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it was, it was, the way that it was done was very well. Mm. The person in question didn't leave it to the last minute and then spring it on their date, being like, he didn't even. I can't afford this, you know. Yeah, he yeah. or she didn't even know the bill was just. Don't worry, continue with your yeah, 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 yeah. That was yeah. it. Just put put the money towards the bill. Yeah. Towards the bill, mm. and then the rest was covered by. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. By us, yeah, 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 yeah. I think even yeah, like doing something like that. I think even with the whole show, like first dates, Ireland just seems to have such a heart to us or something. Like mm. you can really tell that. I guess you as a team are looking out for them, and that they're you know. It, uh, there's so much sort of crass reality TV out there at the moment. And I, I don't know if you find that as well, is that it's not really trying to, you know, take advantage of people. Yeah, it's, absolutely. It's, it's very yeah. sincere. Uh, but there's down to Coco TV. Do you think so? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The way yeah, the show is put yeah, together yeah, is brilliant. Yeah, yeah. In Croatia, we have a say, we have a say, if the head is rotten, the whole fish is going to get rotten. It really is like this. Yeah. These guys on top, Stuart, Linda, Hillary, and then the whole team down, they're just fantastic. Genuinely nice people. Yeah. And in this industry, this industry can be a little bit cutthroat. However, mm. these guys, what we're dealing with, phew, phenomenal, phenomenal. Really successful people, first of all. Mm. But yet again, with the brains on, but properly brains on and respectful towards everybody. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we are very lucky. Very, very lucky. You know, we have to give them credit because they are their masters of the job. Without them, we don't exist. Yeah, yeah. And it really is like this. And I really. suppose, yeah, their, their attitude filters down then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. yeah I just think it's just hugely successful as well because of the people that are on it as well, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, they make the show, not us. Of course, us. You know, yeah. They make the you know, show, you know. And staff, it's that, and it's, staff. <laughs> of course. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's, it's, it's the personalities and it's the warmth of Irish people mm -hmm. as well that are obviously yeah, being displayed. Yeah. You see, that's why they, the, the show is successful as well because people enjoy sitting there <laughs> And being able to relate to somebody who's on the show as well, you know, it's yeah. like, geez, it reminds me of my cousin or it reminds me of my sister. Or yeah. Whatever, yeah. You know? But that's very, very easy because Dublin is so small and Ireland is so, so small, small that yeah. everybody knows everybody, you know. Yeah. yeah, and you do see that happening on the show as well. Yeah, like the yeah. Common this people. season not yet, didn't it happen yet, but last season, always one season, once, once per season, it's always, oh, I used to date him. Do you know, actually, uh, we had a brilliant <laughs> one last year. Huh? Do you remember the one last year? The guy uh, had been on... Had recognized the, the lady from 35 years yeah. before. Yeah. Uh, he and yeah. Sarah in Club 92 or something. Yeah. 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 He said, I went there and I, I met you at a disco or something along yeah. those lines. Well, you could I tell that since. as soon as he met her that he fancied her back then. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. He, he knew the name of her sister. Oh, yeah. Yeah, attention to detail. Yes. And do you guys get recognized a lot outside? We were talking about this beforehand, but is it a kind of a case of... Well, this, quite... Look at this face. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How could you not? No, it's not so much of that. You know, I, I guess... I guess at work, I guess at work because this is what we do for a living. Yeah. So yeah. that question pops out, you know. Yeah. yeah. Nah, that's your man. <laughs> <laughs> Direct quote. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you said, Madam Bottle of Sauvignon? <laughs> we, get, we get it, we get it, yeah. You're, you're, but outside, yeah, outside, no. Obviously, nowadays I don't go out anymore since I have a kid. I was about so. to say, yeah, congratulations on your baby. Yeah, I did it, huh? Yeah. If I did it, everybody can did do it. Did it all by himself. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. She's, how old is she now? Eight months. Eight months. Yes. So how are you adjusting Yesterday. to fatherhood? I have to say I'm enjoying. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. My two days off, they're not days off anymore. Yeah, I'm minding the babacita. Yeah, she's cool. She's cool. I just, I was just now, the last two days, I was minding her. My very fulfilling, I have to say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very, very cool. And I'm assuming there's plenty more seasons of First Aid Ireland to come, given how you were saying uh, it's hopefully. the most successful season yet in terms yeah, of Yeah, so far, the way I understood the mail, what they send us, I think that's so far one of the best uh, ratings and that, that we're getting. And uh, after four years, we just know what we're doing and the customers can feel it, the contestants can feel it and you can feel this on air. 
Mm. You know, I guess that's what it is. All, yeah. all together, it's like a big family at this stage, you know. Guys, so nice to have you in today and long may the success of First States Ireland continue. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you for much. having us. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you can also listen to the interviews from the telly show on Omni, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. Catch you next week.